Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another episode of Comic Talk. Today we're going to talk about uh, comics, obviously, um, but we're going to talk about story versus art versus investment. Um, so, kind of a little little different topic today, but uh, myself, and, and I've, I've said this to, to most of you guys who've been in the store, um, I, I'm a story guy, myself first. I have... I've read a lot of bad stories in order to, to keep up with with the story. Um, you know, I, I want to know the whole story. Um, but with that said, the first thing that turns me off in a book is the art. If there is bad art, it is very hard to read that story. So, stories first, right? You, you, you got to stick with your characters, right? You, even they, they change artists, they, they change writers. Um, the, the character is what is what is being built, um, in, in my in my opinion, anyway. So the second part of that, though, is is definitely the art, um, interior art. Um, but the thing that draws you the most is cover art, and this is what some people um, prefer to collect. Uh, now, when you're when you're collecting cover art, you know there's there's different ways to do it, right? Um, you're collecting just the art that interests you. You're collecting just the characters that interest you. Um, you know, th there's no right or wrong way. Investors. Investors are, are kind of my, I don't know, my, my personal, um, I don't want to say enemy, but my, 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 my personal people, they, they the guys that come in and, and they just want, you know, what's going to be the hot comic? What am I going to sell 50 years from now to pay for my kids? college you, keep, you can't you can't judge that if, if we knew that we would all buy that comic which would then destroy the whole idea of it being worth that because everyone would have it um, death of superman perfect example uh, everybody and their brother has a copy of death of superman whether you're you know a, a comic fan a superman fan you know a, a movie fan everybody who was even a little bit of a fan stopped by the comic store got themselves you know three or four copies of the death of superman they put them all away because this was going to be a huge deal now people walk in and say well i've got the death of superman it's in the you know it's in the black bag it's still sealed you know I, i'd like to to sell this and and they they get this look on their face when i say okay I, i'm absolutely interested in buying that and i will give you a dollar fifty and they look at me like oh my god what like well it it sells for you know four fifty to five dollars you know that's that's the going rate um, so that's what I'm willing to pay because I've already got you know four of them in the back room that nobody's interested in buying right now but I will absolutely take that off your hand you know I'll, I'll give you give you a dollar fifty and, and you know, okay well what if I bring you the black and the white bag well, again, they're both going for, you know, about $5 a piece. So I'm going to have to sit on them for a while. Nobody's buying them. So absolutely. Um, you know, it was, a, it was a big event. It was advertised all over the place. Everybody got a copy of it. So it, it wasn't the collector's dream. It wasn't the comic that was going to be worth a million dollars down the road. Um, you know, where you've got... Your actual, you know, million-dollar comics are because nobody kept them, right? They were, they were Superman, who, you know, was was popular, right? They they sold comics, they, but, you know, you fold them in three, you threw them in your back pocket, you went to your, you know, your buddy's treehouse, you read it, you threw it across the, the the treehouse, and, and and he read it, and you know, it came back ripped and ratty, and, and folded in three, and so even if you find a good copy of it. And, and by good copy, I mean like, like a four out of ten copy. You know, those are still worth big money because they're not available. Now I'm getting kind of, kind of involved here. I didn't didn't want to get that involved, but cover art, um, something that that personally I enjoy. I enjoy showing off my comics. Um, we, we have a couple different different ways that we show off our comics. We have a, a black case by BCW. Um, that, that we put them in. Uh, recently, we started picking up uh, One Touch, 
uh, which also will hang on the wall. A nice, nice little spot there. Personally, that, that the cover art is, is is what I enjoy showing off. When someone comes into my my collectibles room, my, my collectibles area, and looks, you know, that's what they're looking at, right? They can't see the inside. So here we have, as you can see, Weapon H. This is a comic that's just out. Um, very popular character, right? It, was, it wasn't introduced that long ago. Um, but th this is a very cool cover, right? I would hang this on my wall and people would say, what is that, right? Like that's, that's an incredible Hulk, but, but he's, he's different. He's got Wolverine claws and right, it gets your interest going. So as everything with Marvel, um, you know, whenever anything's popular, they make multiple covers. So th this, is, this is where you get into the collectability of it, right? What cover do I want to show off? What cover do I want to collect? Or do I want to collect them all? When you collect them all, you get into the whole, you know, one in 25 variants, one in 500 variants. Um, so it gets a little, little different there. Um, but here, let's, let's pull this off here. That, that's the, the, the normal cover, right? This is the, the newsstand issue, if you want to call it that. Um, they're not called that anymore, but here is the first variant cover we're showing off. And of course, we have some horrible glare there, but there is a pretty cool looking cover, right? So this is this is the what uh, I think they called it the Hulk homage cover, or uh, homage, however you want to pronounce that. So it's it's more of an incredible Hulk, right? You can see him kind of right, his skin's ripped. You can see the Hulk kind of kind of coming out in him, right? Um, as we go on, we have a Wolverine cover. So this is this is the classic Wolverine cover, the classic Wolverine pose, the three um, claws, right? Are, are popped out this is is an iconic cover from Wolverine now here, here's your uh, your throwback your that because weapon H is a combination of Wolverine and Hulk DNA as well as, well as other stuff but those are your main your main guys that are in there right so we, we have that now the last one we're gonna look at here is, is again just another cool cover right it's, it's a different art style Right, uh, I don't know if I can get these beside each other here. Not really, but right, different art style than what we're we're seeing before. And again, right, it, it all depends on your preference. Uh, myself, uh, that this isn't one that I would that I would put on my wall just just as a personal preference. But I would definitely hang these two beside each other, both number one. Right there, the Hulk, the Wolverine, and Weapon X, or Weapon H, I should say. Right, this is. I just told you what's going up on my wall, but that's all right. You guys can copy me all you want. Okay, so that's 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 Weapon H this week. Now, at the same time, like I said, Mar Marvel does this this fairly often with this um, different covers. So, another. Um, Death of the Mighty Mighty Thor is coming up. So, as as you may or may not know, if you're following Thor, um, Jane Foster is currently Thor. She is uh, dying of cancer. Um, Mjolnir is not helping the situation. It's kind of progressing the cancer along. It it it, it cures her from her chemo um, because the chemo is a poison in her body. But it, 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 you have to read the story. Back to covers. So this standard cover right a very very cool cover right it is bathed in flame we have the the marquee at the top there right the story the death of the mighty thor we're, we're getting there um just, just a very very cool cover one that i'm again going to hang on my wall you know i'll put it behind my my thor statue and uh an extremely cool cover but we have a few other options here too all right, so this is the first alternate cover, and I really have to do something about lighting here because that's that's too bad. You get, there you go. So again, right, Jane Foster. That this is an art style, um, a little softer edges, right? But definitely something that you could you could throw up on your wall, and it, it's going to grab somebody's attention, right? This is this is a piece of art. This is not no longer a comic book. This is this is something that. You know, even if you're not a comic art or a comic fan, you can look at this and say, "That that's a good-looking photo." 
And the last one we've got, of course, um, you can't see it again there because of glare, right? Um, so this is the, the, the death of Mighty Thor coming up. But we've got Odin in the background there. Um, you, you can see, right? He, he's wielding the Odin force. He's, he's you know, one eye, right? We're, we're definitely talking Odin, right? So again, even if you're not a fan, if you know just a little bit, right, you can put this together. And, and another cool cover, right? So we throw this up behind uh, behind a statue of of Jane Foster Thor, and and it, it's eye catching. It's, it's something that draws your attention. So I'm actually gonna leave something here for you guys to look at. Um, so that's a couple different different art um, type type collector, collections. Uh, Again, they're, they're they're very related to the story. Um, so if you're a story collector, you know your your art's going to go along with it. Now, the last thing, um, investors. So if you're if you're an investor, if you actually not even just an investor, if, if you like this art, if you like this this book here, this this artwork, and you know maybe you have the main copy, all right, and you've read it, whichever, or, or maybe you're not, you're, you're just just for the art. Um, get it graded, right? If, if this is something that that you want to keep, if this is a piece of art, right? Just like if you had a, if you had a Van Gogh. Oh, let me get rid of that for a second. Sorry about that, guys. If you had a, I don't know, a, a Van Gogh, right? You you want to take care of it. You want to preserve that, right? This is the same idea. If you like this this artwork, take care of it, right? Put it in a hermetically sealed container you know send it off to, to CBCS um, you know send it off to, to, to CGC get it get it taken care of um, at the store here we prefer CBCS uh, that, that, that's mainly because we're a, we're a distributor for them or, or a retail location for them you know if, if you're looking to get comics graded or you haven't got a comic graded and you're, you're wondering send it off to us let's take a look um, you know we'll see what what price we can get um, and we'll get that sent off. Right now we're sending off about once a month. Um, but there, that, that's my little commercial for, for grading comics. But again, if you're and, and if you're an investor, right? If you if you're investing in a comic, don't just leave it in a in a, in a plastic on board, right? That's that, that's not how you protect your investment, right? If you want something to be worth something, you need to protect it. Um, you know. A lot of these these people that, that come in with their collections and they're, you know, they're maybe they're not exactly, you know, I don't know, in a good place or, or, or they they need, they need to sell their collections, um, and they're they're looking at the comic guy and they're saying, well, you know, in perfect condition, this book is worth, you know, forty dollars, you know, but but guys, it's it's not in perfect condition. You know, we we can look at this. And we have our grading books, and we'll go through it. And <laughs> Danielle's sliding things in the background there. Um, but now that I'm distracted, I lost my train of thought there. But not that that bagging and boarding is bad, guys. Um, but if, if you're if you're not if you are collecting for an investment, then you want to protect it. And the way to protect that is to hermetically seal it. You know exactly what that comic is. If, if your sticker on the top of your, your CBCS um, slab says that it's a, a 9.8, then, then it's a 9.8, right? There's, there's no debating, um, th there's just no question. Where if you come in to see me, you know, in your mind, you, well, I, I protected this book, right? I've got it in a, in, a, in a bag and board and, well, okay, great, but the, you know, this is from the 80s and, you know, the, the board was not you know, lead free and, and you can see that it's pulled the ink off the back onto the board, you know, the, the bag, you never sealed it, right? It, it's just a, a normal piece of tape on the back of it and, and you've taken the comic out and it's it stuck a couple times and, and you know, you've lifted the, so all these things were, it wasn't an investment, it was enjoyed, which is really what the comic was designed for, was for you to enjoy it. Um, now I'm getting back to my personal preference of, of, of reading and enjoying the comic over collecting specifically because it's going to be you know worth a million dollars down the road. But anyway, guys, if, if, if that's what you're 
if that's what you're into, if you're if you're wanting to just invest, um, I, I, I hesitate to say it, do it right, but the guys do it right. Um, a, a graded comic book it is actually worth more than when you look in your your price guide and it says it's worth forty dollars at nine point two, but a graded comic at nine point two in a CBCS case is worth more than $40. Um, I'm trying to think what, what the last Incredible Hulk um, that I was looking at, uh, a, a graded Incredible Hulk at like 4.0 in a, in a slab, you know, it, it, it's worth, I, I, I wanna say it was $3,800, um, you know, and, and in the book, it, it's worth about $3,600 in 9.2 condition. Uh, which is the highest price that they get. But a 4.0 is worth more than the 9.2 if it's graded. So again, guys, investment, take care of your stuff. Um, if you're looking for art, you have options. If you're reading the story, you know, again, show these things off, right? Show that you enjoy them, right? Throw them in a, in a $5, $10 case up on your wall and, and you know, enjoy. All right, guys. Have a great day.